What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Aaron Wildsout TV, coming to you guys with another video. Um, oh, sorry. Um, before we get into this video, I want everybody to like this video, share this video, um, comment on this video, and click that notification bell to be notified whenever I go live. Follow all of my social media and also get your memberships. Um, the, all the links will be in the description below. And if y'all want to donate to this channel, you can definitely do this, um, do that by way of Cash App. Um, y'all can definitely, um, uh, also support this channel by way of Super Chat, Super Thanks, and Super Stickers. Thank you, and let's get on to this show. Y'all, today's show, today's show, today's topic We'll be talking about Jill Scott and Chris Brown. Jill Scott mainly, and it has in it also, it's surrounding uh, Mr. Chris Breezy. So let's get on to it. So y'all, Jill Scott, who would have ever thought that Jill Scott would be trending on social media and people have mixed reviews by her opinion so let's get let me share the screen so shout out to the shade room shade room post just got trends after applauding chris brown's chris brown for his many talents let me read that over child because i feel like i'm reading at a fifth grade level just got trends after applauding Chris Brown for many for his many talents. Girl shares her thoughts on recent diss track. M Listen, don't mind me, child. Like I haven't even ate yet. So she put she tweeted out to her um on her uh Twitter uh page. She tweeted out at Chris Brown is amazing. How does anybody sing like that? dance look act and rap like that beyond gifted it appears exceptionally it appears exceptional people have to go through exceptional fire there's nothing to debate okay all right, so there's the tweet right there. Now, a commenter, you see a commenter left a comment under her original post. Um, She had some questions and she was kind of perplexed. So the commenter um, literally wrote back or commented under her post and said, I think the women he abused would disagree. Jill Scott responds to that comment and said, I doubt it. My mother's ex-husband was a mean, violent human, and he could lay a foundation better than anyone in my city. What he did with cement was awe-inspiring. We got away. He got a raise and praise for his ability. God dealt with the rest. So, baby, that <laughs> that lit a match. Her her response to this commenter lit a match, and everyone had an opinion on Jill Scott's response. It wasn't pretty. So let's read a couple of them. I love you, Jill Scott. I No, I love you, Jill, but he has many domestic abuses, domestic abuse cases. She should have left that S out. Let me start over. I love you, Jill, but he has so many domestic abuse cases. It's ridiculous. We can't look past that. Jill, Spot res Jill Scott responds, I love you too. I'm not here to fight anyone else's battles. If, if since women, if or and or since women hear the stories, 
they should avoid the street. What? Running backwards and moving traffic makes zero sense. Therapy for every damn body. Well, that's not very nice. That's not very nice. And this, her response was very uncouth. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's keep it going. Um, so many people responded, drawing and painting too. It's amazing and too much at the same time. Right? I forgot about the paint. Okay, okay. Jill, you a predator, boo. I say I'm watching you, but I ain't. Um, she responded, never. Okay. She keeps resp she has been responding back and forth to some commenters. Um, here's another one. Yes, he is, but that diss track was too personal. He went too low. So um she um she responded, I agree. Somebody else said I just got the gifted and chosen people carry a load that goes beyond the imagination. Some people can't handle the art of artistry. Hence the fourth far hence the fourth they aren't given the gift of it and people like yourself your life and insight is an inspiration to us all she responded i'm not gonna do it let me get to some someone um somebody wanted to know what does that mean to her responding to the first original commenter uh, talking about um, how her um, mother's ex-husband was mean, violent, human, and collated foundation. Um, she responded to that and said, it means that even if he had something to offer, he was sick, hurt, and did cruel things. I forgave him because of his trauma. Did I forget? Never. So I try my best to choose better. I failed a few times, but not in that abusive area. Okay. Um, somebody, somebody else says, I refuse to forgive men who commit crimes against women and children. They cannot be rehabilitated. Um, she hits back and said, and I caution those who refuse to forgive because they will undoubtedly need forgiveness at some point in their lives. We're all flawed and need help. Power to people who move past violence. The past is a terrible reminder and the future is yours. Um, there's some more, but I'm not going to keep um, going on. But it's just people can't look past. Let me, let me, let me remove this. Okay. I want to say... Before I go into my thoughts, I want to be delicate on this matter because first of all, I have a lot of females, um, subscribers that follow me and someone can be dealing with an abusive husband or boyfriend or, um, or their family members or friends can be dealing with something. Um, so I want to be cautious and delicate to that. Um, also, I also want to say that I can give my opinion and say how I feel about this. And I'm going to say this for myself. I myself have watched someone in my family be abused. It, it kind of damaged me in a way because I couldn't do nothing because I was a child at that time. Um, so what I'm saying is abuse is so it's such a heavy topic that it's kind of like I want to expound on it, but then I find myself, you know, tugging 
at the fact that I want to give my true authentic opinion, but then I have to also think about the people that watch me that might be going through these tragic times or might be going through something as being abused by their loved ones or whoever. It kind of makes me not want to share my opinion also, but I'm going to share it anyway. I do agree with Jill that I do feel like people can be forgiven um there's like there's always a second chance i feel like we can for we can't we can never like like she said we can never forget forget but let's move let's we can move forward some people just cannot move forward it stays with them for life Okay, it stays with them for life. Some people can move on. Some people cannot. And I have to respect the fact I have to respect the people that can simply just not forgive and forget. Okay. Um, I understand both arguments. Of what the commenters are coming towards um, Jill. And I also understand the mindset and what Jill is trying to communicate to these commenters that are commenting back towards her. Okay? So I definitely understand both parties' um, stance on the matter. But I also want to give it to, shout out to Bondi, shout out to Bondi Blue for, um, for this TikToker, this talk, TikToker, this TikToker said it so profound in a way that maybe I'm just not able to probably articulate myself articulate it in a way that probably some people would understand so i have to give it to this tiktoker and shout out to bondi blue for um uh presenting her um to us so and sh this tiktoker said it basically knocked it out of the park did it better than I ever could, child. So let me get to that video. I'll um give me a second, y'all, and let's get it. Okay. Jill Scott said, and I'm paraphrasing, my mama got her ass beat by a man that can make a pretty sidewalk. And in response to that, y'all said, you got to speak Jill Scott to understand Jill Scott. Speaking the language abuser apologist is not a flex, my darlings. But also, we are not all so easily moved that we believe the statements. Two things can be true at once, and you could be an abuser and be really talented or so poetic and profound that they require some sort of dissection. Uh, we understand what she said. We don't understand why she said it. Because I know somebody's going to think that I'm too dumb to understand that she was saying we all deserve some sort of love and compassion. Only when you're actively trying to make change and i'm wondering why is that compassion not extended to his victims via the internet by simply shutting the fuck up how much of that was like i think chris brown's victims would feel different and jill scott's reply was i doubt it followed by some bullshit did you drop this in a group chat that they all belong to and ask for their approval or at least their opinion it was really that comment about we shouldn't run backwards in traffic that y'all thought was so profound that really pissed me off the most because it sounded like you shouldn't wear a short skirt around that uncle that you know is weird because you don't have to be around that uncle but also why is the family not holding that uncle accountable for being fucking weird Weird, let alone why are you giving him some sort of praise I'm not trying to cancel Jill Scott nor Kelly Rowland I'm more so talking about how this makes way for other bullshit ideology because then y'all went on in the comment section y'all were like this is why I still play R. Kelly y'all are not just supporting talented men when y'all support R. Kelly Chris Brown Kodak so on and so forth you're putting money in the pockets of men who are probably going to have to pay off lawyers again because they couldn't keep their fucking hands to themselves and my question is why is that shit acceptable
I want to know y'all. Y'all, I want to know what you think about this topic. I want to know. I want to know what your thoughts on it. Please put it down in the comment section below. I want everybody to respect each other's opinions, and um, we can we can all have an opinion. We can agree to disagree. Do it respectfully. And I will see y'all at another video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please click the notification bell to be notified whenever I go live or put out another video. And also join the membership. Get your memberships. Um, and follow all of my social medias in the description below. Everything will be in the description below. Okay? Um, y'all, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.